Hi, I'm Darren with muzzleloaders.com. Thank you so much for purchasing your new Investar muzzleloader from us. And in this video, I'm going to try and answer any questions that you may have about your new muzzleloader. The first thing that I recommend doing is taking a look at the box to ensure that there is no damage sustained during shipping. If you do find that the product was damaged during shipping, then make sure to take some pictures and send them over to our customer service team at sales at muzzle-loaders.com and we'll make sure you're taken care of right away. After you confirm that there's no shipping damage to the package, I would recommend opening up the box and ensuring that everything that you ordered is present. Please keep in mind that all powders, primers, and percussion caps are considered hazmat items and may arrive a few days later and in a separate pa package due to hazmat regulations. If you purchased one of our InvestArm kits, I would recommend opening it up and confirming that all of the components are there using the included parts list inside the box. Detailed instructions on how to assemble your kit are included in the box with your muzzleloader. However, if you need a digital copy, there's one linked below in the description or you can scroll to the bottom of our website and there's a product manuals page. If you purchased one of the pre-assembled Investar muzzleloaders, you'll notice that it arrived in two pieces. At this time, you'll want to insert the barrel into the tang with the breech hook angled upward. Then press the barrel into the stock and insert the tenon pins. Now that we've ensured that your muzzleloader has arrived and in good condition, we recommend doing a visual inspection of the outside of the rifle to ensure that there are no blemishes. Next, we want to make sure that there are no obstructions in the barrel. So in order to do that, we'll take the ramrod and slide it down the barrel. The ramrod should slide down to where the brass end begins. And the ramrod should bounce when dropped down the barrel. If both of these things happen, you can be sure there are no obstructions in the barrel. Next, we recommend doing a thorough cleaning of your muzzleloader before taking it to the range. We recommend using a solvent patch to wipe down any factory grease on the outside of the barrel. And we recommend alternating between solvent patches and dry patches to swab out the inside. There may be orange or black grease that comes off on the patches when you're swabbing out the inside of the barrel. I can assure you that this is not rust or black powder residue. It is just the color of the grease that is used by InvestArm. If you ordered one of the InvestArm muzzleloader kits and are needing some tips and tricks on how to put it together, there's a video link in the description and it's going to have some very important steps that need to be considered before you begin. Now that we've cleaned the muzzleloader, it's time to take it out to the range. And deciding what load to use can be difficult because every muzzleloader is different. However, we've found that 60 grains of FFG powder measured by volume and a patched round ball is a great place to start. However, keep in mind we do not recommend exceeding 80 grains in the 45 caliber, 90 grains in the 50 caliber, and 100 grains in the 54 caliber for safety reasons. Please keep in mind that all of these calculations were made based on a patched round ball, and if you plan to use a conical bullet, all of the calculations will be different, so we recommend consulting your owner's manual for all of the safety and load data. If you purchased a percussion version of the InvestArm muzzleloader, like the one you see here, it's going to use a number 11 percussion cap. And if you purchase the flintlock version, we recommend using 4F pan priming powder, which is available through companies like GoX. Now I wanted to dive into a couple of frequently asked questions that our customer service team fields and try and help you out as much as I can in this video. The first question that we typically get is, can I leave my muzzleloader loaded overnight? Uh, we do not recommend doing this just because it's an easy way for moisture to contaminate the powder. And I would hate to have you on a big buck and the powder doesn't ignite because there was moisture in there. So I typically recommend removing the old powder from the muzzleloader uh, at the end of each hunting day or day at the range. Another question that we get very often is how many times can I shoot my muzzleloader before I need to clean it? Uh, there's a lot of answers to this question because it really depends on the projectile that you're using as well as the powder that you're using. They all foul the barrel to different degrees. So what I recommend is if after two or three shots, it's starting to get a little more difficult to push the, your projectile down the barrel, then it's probably about time to clean. However, 
Uh, our recommendation is that you clean after every shot with one wet patch and two dry patches to make sure that you're mopping up any of the moisture that's left behind by the wet patch. And uh, that is also going to ensure consistency between each and every shot. I want to say thank you again for purchasing your Investar muzzleloader from us. And in this video, we covered how to unbox, how to clean, and how to load your Investarm. And if you have any questions outside of what we covered in this video, feel free to give our customer service team a call at 855-236-5000, or you can send us an email at sales at muzzle-loaders.com.